Hi everyone, this is Gary here from Victory Farm at Rooftop Malaysia. Now today I'm going to share with you something uh, about how you can reduce the risk of your seedlings or your aeroponic vegetables being dried out if let's say there's no water supply. Have any one of you actually experienced before suddenly there is this power off or suddenly there is water supply being cut off you know and uh, there's no water ring. Yeah, in your system and eventually all the vegetables all wilted and dried out eventually. Uh, most of the time, uh, we actually use this kind of sponge, germination sponge, you know, or raw food actually to grow them. Yeah, so these are actually very good medium, I would say. Uh, however, in terms of, uh, if let's say when there's no water being introduced to them, your plants and seedlings will dry out eventually. But we actually prefer to use cocoa peat, yeah. Now, if let's say I were to pour in this cocoa peat into this cup, it's not going to do you good because all the residues will be washed out if you are using the aeroponic uh, way of doing things. However, what we do is that we will simply introduce something like a, uh, what do you call it, a tea bag. Yeah, a filter tea bag, an empty tea bag. So what we need to do is that you just put in your cocoa peat inside this tea bag, just stuff them in. Alright, just stuff it in. And then you put your seeds inside. Once you put your seeds inside, you know, and then you water them and let it grow from there. Yeah. So it will eventually become something like this. All right. So once it's like this, yeah, you can just take the entire bag out, you know, and put it into your net cup. And then you just transfer it to your tower or your system. It's way much easier because why? There's no transplant shop. At the same time, if let's say there is water outage. Your cocoa peat retains a lot of moisture and it can last for hours. Unlike you know the sponges over here, for example, if let's say there is no water being introduced to them, they will wilt very quickly you know, and dry up. And then you will have a lot of problem you know, in reviving them. But with cocoa peat way of doing things, it's way much easier. Yeah, so it actually helps you to reduce the risk of your plants or seedlings being dried up faster. So this is my sharing for today. My name is Gary, the founder of Victory Farm at Rooftop Malaysia. Thank you for watching.